In this video, our job is to find an expression for the acceleration due to gravity, little g, some distance r from a planet of mass, big M. Let's take that distance, calling it r, and place out at that distance another mass of lowercase m. We can find the force of gravity between little m and big M using Newton's law of universal gravitation, which is big G, or the universal gravitational constant, times big M times little m over the distance between their centers squared. Equivalently, we could find the force of gravity on little m from big M using little m times the acceleration due to gravity. If we knew what the acceleration due to gravity was at this location r away from big M. Since the fg in this formula is equal to the fg in this formula, we can say big G, big M over li times little m over r squared is equal to little m times little g, or the acceleration due to gravity. It's clear here that little m is on both sides of this equation and can therefore be canceled, allowing us to write an expression for little g, which is little g is equal to big G, big M, over r squared. This clearly shows us that the acceleration due to gravity, little g, is dependent upon the mass of the planet, big M, and the distance we are away from the planet, r. This also exemplifies the idea, when we were using the formula fg equals mg, that the acceleration due to gravity of all objects is the same value, regardless of what their mass is, provided the only force acting on them is Fg. For example, if we plugged in to this formula the mass of the Earth and put in the radius of the Earth to the denominator, so we would be standing on the Earth's surface, we would get the acceleration due to gravity on Earth, or at the location of the surface of the Earth, which we know is 9.8 meters per second squared, regardless of what object we dropped at that location. 